The New Zealand public has largely lost sight on the bloody war in Ukraine, but we must keep our focus on it, writes Simon Bridges in the NBR this week. Simon, thanks for coming by. Good to be with you. So obviously over the last week or so, we've had some pretty big international news stories. Mm. Queen Elizabeth um, dying last week. But you argue in your column that maybe we're starting to forget a little bit about what's been going on in the Ukraine for a good six or seven months now, if not longer. Yeah, I think that's right. I think the purpose of the column really is to put a spotlight back on it because it's hugely important um, for the world. And I think actually relevant to New Zealand, unless you're incredibly small-minded and parochial. Look, that, that's not to say that there aren't lots of other things going on. I'm not trying to compare them. I'm not, no, I'm not even saying that it's got no profile. You know, it is mm. still there bubbling along... Um, in the news, but it's a it's a pretty significant time for it. Um, it seems, although there's different sort of accounts and reports, it seems pretty clear Ukraine is back on the offensive and things are going well from their perspective, uh, and that's a really good thing. Several lessons for New Zealanders out of this, you reckon? What I, would be out there? I think there are. I mean, I think the first one is, and I sound a bit like, is it was it Fred Dagg or someone? We don't know how lucky we are. Yep. Um, but I think that's true. You know, we often see our distance from markets and everything for that matter as a disadvantage in some ways economically, that's true. But it's also when you've got a, a very bloody war over there um, with potential nuclear, uh, nuclear um, issues, of course, it's the same country as Chernobyl, um, you know, it's very worrying. And so we're lucky to be over here. I think more fundamentally as well, um, what you've got is a situation where um, what happens in Europe does still matter. And so an energy crisis, particularly ground gas, um, a food crisis, um, Ukraine once well, still being not right at the moment for obvious reasons, but a bread basket for that region, real, really relevant to us. And also just the overall economic flow on uh, from, from that. And I think more, um, perhaps more pie in the sky to some, but I think almost the most important point is... Um, Normatively, um, this is a uh, this is a very important cause. It is, I think, um, it's not going too far to say it's about freedom. And so, you know, there is a there is a right side and a wrong side. And uh, yes, yeah, so I admire those uh, Kiwis who perhaps not everyone does. I don't know, but I admire those Kiwis who've been over a corporal lost his life. Um, the likes of Tenby Powell um, haven't always agreed with him. Didn't agree with him particularly when he was mayor of Tauranga. But good on him for being over there and pulling out a big humanitarian effort. I think there's been several hundred Kiwis volunteer to go fight or something like that. Yeah, the reports, uh, I think based on the Ukrainian uh, Consul General over here is a good 500 or so, but probably more than that now actually volunteering to go. Just how many actually went and the nature of what they've done. But yeah, I think there's, um, without being overly romantic about it, because this is war, there is something noble about that. Um, it's As I say, it's, it's a just, it's a moral cause um, that they've gone over for and uh, you know heart goes out to the family of uh, that young uh, corporal who's passed away You were in Europe not so long ago yourself I mean did you get much of a sense of how particularly in the UK they were thinking and feeling about it? Well the, in fairness the UK, uh, the UK was pumping um, yeah. and having just come out of over here um, COVID traffic light settings are they long forgotten of that I think though what's true is it's definitely there more strongly it's obviously in a sense more um, clearly relevant um, just given the proximity given actually there's many more Eastern Europeans living in the UK um, and including uh, in my family uh, my mother-in-law is uh, Polish my wife is half Polish and so whilst that's not uh, the same country you know it's just a sense that these things uh, matter matter a bit more, even though, as I say, the Ukraine felt pretty, uh, the UK, I should say, uh, felt, um, y- you know, pretty vibrant at a pretty hot time. Pretty solemn reminder of what the rest of the world's like, isn't it? It's exactly right. And, uh, you know, the, the basic point is, um, back here in little old safe, some might say irrelevant New Zealand, it is good to just keep these things front of mind um, and to, to, to draw on the lessons that I think they, um, they have for us. Simon, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.